But they weren't water manners because this area is leaking over there. However, when I step right here, you can feel water underneath the membrane. So we need to do a core test to figure out how much water are we talking about and how deep the insulation is. So follow along for the entire process. Once you open the hole, you can figure out how many inches of insulation it has and the system you currently have. So the entire hole is wet, the insulation is wet. If we're gonna go all the way down, we're looking roughly about five inches between cap sheet and all the stuff inside. Now that we know what's going on and how wet everything is, we need to like fill this up, put some roofing cement in it, close everything. Even though it's wet, we're gonna try to make it as watertight as we can because we did open a hole on the roof. And then after that, Repair the entire section. Once you open the, the roof and cement, you squeeze it, you fill that hole. Something that is really important is like when you're actually doing core testing, you don't not only do one, you need to do two because that section had around five inches of insulation and captured and all together combined, but we don't know how deep is on this section. So if it's the exact same measurement, that means the roof is already pre-sloped. So we just have to continue with whatever, four, five, six inches of insulation all the way around. However, if this area, it's lower, that means it's tapered ISO and we need to buy less material. So oh, sometimes this is actually what happens. You're doing a core test and you hit a point where you cannot even go deeper. The reason is, is because one of the tin caps is right on the way. So it doesn't allow you to continue. So you gotta move again and start all over a little bit more to the left or to the right. So this is what I mean. This is a tin cap. If I hit this one so I couldn't penetrate it. So move a little bit to the left. And then here we go. We have one, two, three pieces of insulation and some cap sheet. So this is technically about five or six inches of pure insulation than the actual roofing system. It's a lot of work to determine what's going on with the roof, how big a repair should be. And if you don't want change orders, you need to do all this extra work before so you can actually estimate it correctly. So if you're looking for a company that is doing every single step of the way, the right thing, give us a call. Perkins Roofing, it'll help. Let's go.